In this year's Avengers Infinity War, Thanos showed us that the Infinity Stones are incredibly potent when they're combined. He used all six to erase half of all life in the universe, for goodness sake. However, prior to the coming together of the six stones, they hadn't exactly been overly impressive on their own. In this video, we'll run you through just some of the items from the world of movies that are more powerful than any individual MCU Infinity Stone. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button, it's the best way of keeping up to date with all of Screen Rant's great new content. Stormbreaker Stormbreaker is an obvious choice to include here as it went directly up against all six Infinity Stones and came out on top. Thor traveled to Nita Valir to have it specifically made to go up against Thanos, and after the Mad Titan had collected all of the stones and placed them inside the gauntlet, the Asgardian was able to throw the weapon through an energy blast combining all six, resulting in the axe being embedded in the villain's chest. Of course, it didn't kill him, and Thanos was able to enact his ruthless finger snap, but Stormbreaker definitely proved itself to be more potent than any single Infinity stone regardless. Spoken. The Mask The Mask, or the Mask of Loki to give it its full name, is a reality warping item from the movie of the same name. Like the Reality Stone, it can be used to change the very fabric of reality itself, allowing the wielder to conjure items from nothing and change the environment around them in a manner reminiscent of some classic cartoons. It essentially gives its wearer the power of the Toon Force, and it grants the wearer superpowers and makes them virtually invulnerable and able to easily heal from any damage taken. It can also essentially mind control people People as it was seen to make people dance involuntarily. Keep the freaking volume down! The Universal Remote Control the Universal Remote Control is from Adam Sandler's Click, and it enabled Sandler's character, Michael Newman, to control the flow of time, much like the Time Stone does in the Marvel Cinematic Universe. However, it's much easier to use and gets its job done much quicker than its Infinity Stone counterpart, and therefore it has to be considered a more powerful item. Rather than requiring a complicated gesture, the remote only requires the touch of a button to work, and instead of happening slowly, any rewinds or jumps forward happen at great speed. It's fair to say that we could all do with one of these. Jumanji and Zathura This entry might come as a surprise to some of you, but it's fair to say the titular board games from Jumanji and Zathura are incredibly powerful reality warping items, more so than the MCU's Reality Stone ever showed on its own. They're actually part of the same universe as each other and effectively possess the same power, albeit with different themes, so we're happy to include them as one entry here. Jumanji can essentially change the world around it to be like a jungle, while Zathura can do the same but with a space theme, and the people playing them can only reverse the effects by winning the games. Powerful stuff. Gort. G-O-R-T is the robot from both the 1951 version of The Day the Earth Stood Still and its 2008 remake. The most powerful version is undoubtedly the latter as it's made up of a huge swarm of insect-like nanotech devices that can self-replicate through the consumption of matter and energy. They're capable of consuming any substance regardless of how hard or dense it is, and they can both fly and crawl. They can be used as a doomsday weapon to consume entire planets. Gort also possesses a powerful laser, the ability to hack into machinery and a high frequency emitter that disables technology. The Power Stone certainly can't do those things. Cerebro Cerebro is a machine in the X-Men movies that Professor Charles Xavier can hook himself up to and amplify his telepathic power. Whereas we've seen a limit to Xavier's abilities at his standard level, we have seen him mind control crowds of people within his physical vicinity, Cerebro allows him to track, control, combat, and even potentially kill anybody on planet Earth. Compare that to, say, the Mind Stone, which in 2012's The Avengers, at least, required physical contact to mind control just one individual. And although it also grants its wielder energy blasts and has something of of a mind of its own, it hasn't proven to possess planet-scale power by any stretch of the imagination. On that night, everything in this museum came to life. The Tablet of Akman Ra 
The Tablet of Achman Ra is the magical item in the three Night at the Museum movies that brings all of the museum's exhibits to life at night. It basically warps the reality around it to transmute the exhibits from wax, plastic, and various other materials into flesh and bone. But the tablet not only brings the exhibits to life, it also gives them the knowledge and personalities of the person or creature they're the model of. So the wax model of Theodore Roosevelt really thinks he's Theodore Roosevelt, for instance, which essentially means it's like both the reality stone and the mind stone rolled into one in incredibly powerful artifact. The Arknet defense system, which protected the Earth from a Boglodite invasion and led to the race's extinction. The Arknet Shield. The Arknet Shield is an alien device that was seen in 2012's Men in Black 3. Its sole purpose is to form an impenetrable shield around any spatial object. It was successfully deployed at the end of the movie, and the result was an impenetrable shield around Earth itself. While it doesn't possess any offensive power, the fact that it could repel the blast of, say, the Power Stone certainly means it trumps it. Moreover, none of the Infinity Stones are proven to provide a planetary wide level of defense, so it trumps them all in that sense as well. We are now slave to the world engine. Initiate. The World Engine. The World Engine was an ancient piece of Kryptonian technology that was far more advanced than anything on Earth. It was designed solely to terraform uninhabitable worlds into ones with identical atmospheres and topography to Krypton. General Zod attempted to deploy it on Earth in 2013's Man of Steel, and while he set the process into action, Superman was able to stop it before it completed its operation. The fact that it can cause global scale changes on various different levels would suggest it's at least as powerful and definitely far more intricate in terms of what it can do than any individual Infinity Stone. The Death Star. Can we really call the Death Star an item? I mean, it's the size of a small moon. Uh, regardless, we're gonna count it anyways. The Star Wars Space Station has the power to destroy planets, just like we know the Power Stone can, but it seems to do it in a far quicker and more emphatic fashion. Moreover, it's obviously got a lot more going for it than its planet-destroying super laser. It's home to an army of evil characters and has countless smaller weapons, such as thousands of laser cannons for more intricate warfare. And we can surely all agree that it's something that we'd probably love to own. Admit it, you would too. This station is now the ultimate power in the universe. I suggest we use it. And that's the end of our video. Do you agree that these items are more powerful than any individual Infinity Stone? Which other items from movies would also be more powerful? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section below. And while you're down there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to Screen Rant for more great videos just like this one. Thanks for watching.